What is up everyone? My name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today I'm going to be doing a big request. This is Guilty Gear Strive. Let me carve your way. Zato Steam? Zato Steam? I'm not sure. Now the reason this is special is because the requester Aiden, who is a Platinum Support tier, for the first time on the channel, boosted a request from someone else in the backlog. So this was actually requested by Weedle V and they're getting their requests boosted through the platinum tier because of aiden so thank you aiden because i get to hear more guilty gear and weedle gets to hear their song and so do you so without further ado let's enjoy these six minutes of hopefully face melting metal i've never played guilty gear strive if you're new i've discovered guilty gear on this channel i am excited let's go <laughs> It's been a while since I heard metal. It's been like a week, so I need some. I need my fix. Oh, harmonized single notes. Okay. this piano in the background. The guitar sounds so good in Guilty Gear. So feel good. It's like oh, it reminds me so much of like late eighties thrash. Mid eighties thrash. Bands like Anthrax, Testament, Megadeth. Oh wait, there's a character named Testament in this, isn't there? I just heard about that. Fun fact, that was probably from the band. <laughs> the songwriting is so... Wild. the dull base. Oh. Has anyone here been to a live metal show and have ever done a wall of death? Which I think are illegal now. This keyboard makes me think if this character has like a soft side to them or not. Oh, it's picking up. I love that guitar on the right side right now. Oh, yeah. Holy shit, double bass. I can tell he's having so much fun playing that guitar. It's like... But yeah, Wall of Death is like, instead of a circle pit, it's when the singer splits 
attacked the crowd. And then on their mark, they all run towards each other. But a lot of people get injured, so I think they stopped doing that. If you ever want to see a big walls of death, look up uh, Lamb of God, Black Label. Any live video. Oh, slow down. I was handsome, sweet memory. Oh, yeah, let's go. You turn into Elton John over all of a sudden. Softest I've heard his voice. This is a very long theme for one character. The use of piano and metal is so rare, like that. You hear keyboards and metal, but piano? Hmm. You know, before I get into this, it's very bizarre, like the story of me and Guilty Gear, because I came from a fighting game background, you know, I'm very familiar with that community. Um, a lot of people knew me from that before I even did these, so like, Tekken Tag 2, Tekken 7, MKX, MK11, all these things, KOF, Guilty Gear, Melty Blood. I know them all. Street Fighter. <laughs> and Guilty Gear has always been one. I watch a lot of tournaments, right? I, I to this day, I still watch a lot of um, tournaments when they're still around because pandemic. But, you know, we have Evo, Combo Breaker, all those kind of things. So And, and I always watch stuff. I only played a couple, a handful of these games, but... I watch all of them because I like to watch these games at high levels. Like if you watch people that know what they're doing, it's really great. It's, it's good stuff. So I've always seen Guilty Gear for years. I'm talking like like seven plus years, right? And I always confuse them because uh, I think they're, I'm not sure if this is proper, but I think they're referred to like as, as an air dasher. So like Blaze Blue, this, uh, maybe Dragon Ball, I think. Um, I've always seen tournaments for this game, and it looks so great. Like, have you ever seen this game? It looks like a, it looks like an anime. It's just, it's, it's beautiful. Like everything looks really nice, but I never heard the music, right? Because when I'm watching these tournaments and all that, you know, commentators are talking, and the volume of the game is always really low. You can barely even hear like the hits and the sound effects. <clears throat> So it's very interesting because for years people were like, how have you never heard Guilty Gear music? Like you are a guitar player and you play metal too. And I just I just don't play the game. That's number one. And two, I don't know. I never really went out of my way to like hear a soundtrack unless I play the game first, I guess. So what I'm saying is like the fact that I discovered it here on this channel and that's the only exposure I've had to the soundtrack has been so wonderful because I've experienced it without any sound effects. I've just heard the songs as they are, which most people don't hear them that way. They hear them with all the stuff happening and dialogue and everything. And it's really high quality stuff. It's, it's like a real soundtrack. It's a real album. And at first people were saying the joke, like, hey, you know, Guilt Here is a album that comes with a game. <laughs> people say that with Doom as well. And I get it, you know, I get it now. It's like, it, it really is. Like, this is a real, really high production piece of art. The guitars sound incredible. Everything is mixed so well. The vocals are, like, 
crystal clear. Everything is just wow, you know. And this is a six-minute song. There was no loops there. Well, I mean, there was, there was, but it was like a song though. It wasn't like a, you know, diddle diddle and then blah 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 and then it loops back after a minute. This was like a song, and this is for a character. I'm gonna be honest though. I, I I didn't have lyrics on the screens. I don't know what they were saying. The only time I heard, I understood what he said was when he said uh, Carter Way, which I guess my brain was subconsciously searching for it. But it was very interesting going from all these genres. We went from like 80s thrash metal, so like Anthrax, Megadeth, Metallica, Testament. <sighs> and then it kind of just slowed down towards the end and kind of got into this like Elton John type of thing. And there was another song that did that. I think it was Happy Chaos, I believe. And it was kind of just like, whoa, where did this come from? But the fact that it goes from that to then that, it's like, I love it. I love how fearless GG is and, and Daisuke is. Daisuke is, from what I know, I, I also learned this on the channel, is that he's everything about this game. He's the composer, he's the musician, he's the character artist, he's the writer. I don't know how much he's involved anymore, because I believe this is the latest game. So I don't know if he was more involved in the, in the past or, you know, but it's just, it's very interesting to see someone so involved in their, in their baby. And he's a singer. Did I mention he was a singer as well? So yeah, he's just, he's just kind of like, like this is him, right? Guilty Gear is, is him. And it's just amazing. And, you know, it's funny because, uh, apparently like there's a lot, I don't know, the, I don't know all the characters' names. I don't know the moves' names or anything like that. I only know two char two, there's two or three characters' names. This one, Zato, Zato, there's Melia, and Johnny. It's, oh, and then I think Happy Chaos. Whichever ones I've done, basically. Um, but apparently, people have told me that there's like hints and Easter eggs all throughout about like metal, heavy metal bands. For example, the character Testament, who is, I think, pretty new. And if that is not the most obvious callback to a band, then I don't know what is. But I'm curious, please, because I don't play this game, let me know what other things like that are there in the game. Are there any moves that... I, I would imagine there are move names or, or other characters that like resemble something similar. And uh, I geek out on that kind of stuff because it's like it's like a big uh, love letter to, to Metalheads and to everything. I listen to everything, of course, but I, of course I like metal. And... I don't know, man. This, this, this stuff just sounds really fun to play. Um, I would love to see this kind of stuff live, not only for the head banging part, but also for the, you know, that little nice ballad thing at the end, which took me by surprise. And then the other last thing I'll say, which has nothing to do with the song really, is I mentioned it earlier, I don't want to leave you guys hanging, is the wall of death. Um, everyone knows what mosh pits are, right? You just, whatever. Then there's circle pits, and that's just where the crowd is obviously just running in circles, and in the middle you'll have some weirdo just making whatever. Um, but the cool thing about, like, if you ever go to a live show, like, mosh pits and circle pits, they have maybe, like, a bad rep from the outside view. But if you notice, like, if you're ever in those, they're, like, a lot of brotherhood. People pick each other up. There's no, like, fighting. Like, everyone's just kind of, like, just getting aggression out and moving and then just kind of, like, yeah, you know? But Walls of Death, I believe, are, are I've never been in one. I've seen one pretty close. And that's kind of the opposite. Although it's still, you know, friendly. It's it's pretty scary if you think about it. You're 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 basically splitting the crowd open down the middle, like a book, and then the singer's like, "All right, on my mark," and in the meantime, we're like doom, 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 building up, and they're like, "Go!" And then all of a sudden, everyone just runs. Some people are running with their fists. Some, you know, it's it's pretty crazy, and it this just reminded me of that. And I just miss going to live shows. So basically, this reminded me that I am a recluse now that sits at home, listens to VGM all day. And I used to go to concerts all the time, so pour one out for me. Guilty Gear music is amazing. And I don't think anytime soon I'm going to hear any sort of bad songs. It's just right up my alley, and I've been impressed every single time. It's amazing. It's face-melting goodness. So thank you, Aiden, for the platinum boost of Weedle's request. Very nice of you. Very nice of you. And the first on the channel. So really cool. So yes, you can do that on the Platinum tier. I never really mentioned it before, but no one's really done it or offered. 
So out of the kindness of their heart and his hard-earned money, he boosted someone else's request who has been waiting since November. So uh, a big thank you to both of them. If you want to do the same thing, you can request to me a VGM song on Patreon or PayPal. There are multiple tiers. There are multiple ways you can go about it. But those are the guaranteed ways that I will check out your song. And uh, yeah, if you want to skip the line, which Aiden here did, you could join the Platinum Trophy tier. And that basically boosts your requests to the top if you have a backlog or if you've been waiting for a long time. Because I'm only one person and I just there's a lot back there. So a big thank you to Aiden, Justin, Kevin, Moon Knight, Rogue Mox, Solid Bullet, 066, and your average metalhead for supporting that. And thanks to all the previous Platinum supporters as well. I can't forget you guys. Thanks to everyone that you see here. And thanks for you for watching, especially the Guilty Gear community who has, I believe, taken me in with open arms. I'm late to the party, except my gift of cheese. I don't know. Until next time, dudes and dudettes, let me carve your way from Guilty Gear. Strive. My name is Jesse. Have a good night.